I don't know if I am a glutton for punishment or just plain stubborn, but ever since I picked up my 2012 GTI back in August, it has been almost non-stop issues with that car. First it was the timing chain, then it was the timing chain cover, and now I don't even know what's going on. I had my first check engine light come on yesterday after picking it up from the dealership to have them fix the issue that another shop created. In my 13 years of owning Volkswagens, right, I have never had so many issues with one car than I do with this. And it may be because it's used, and I picked it up used, I tried to kind of save some money. Now I'm thinking, maybe if I just got a new GTI here, I would have saved a lot of money, saved a lot of heartache, because this is really stressing me out. I'm really not sure what to do next if the dealership is not able to fix this issue. So right now, I'm on the way to where I have the car parked. I have my VAGCOM with my computer in the back seat. I'm gonna see if I can check the codes, figure out what's going on. A small part of me thinks that the alternator is to blame. Uh, so with the timing chain cover leaking, uh, a lot of that oil was getting on the alternator belt and being flung around the engine bay. Uh, yesterday, I spent a few hours cleaning all that up after I had picked it up from the dealership, cleaning up the rest of the uh, engine degreaser that they had put on there. And it looked pretty good from what I could tell. I, I didn't notice any more leaks. I don't have my tools with me today, so I won't be able to remove the fender liner that's in there and really do a good inspection but I have a feeling based on the fact that I saw a lot of fluid on the alternator yesterday and I'm not sure where it came from but based on the fact that there's a lot of fluid on there I have a feeling that it's an issue with the alternator the alternator might have shorted out but granted if it shorted out I don't know if I would still be able to run the car regardless check engine lights on so I'm on my way right now to check it out. Because I'm pretty sure you can check what the codes are with uh, the VAGCOM cable. Now that being said, I, I really am torn on what to do if the dealership cannot fix this issue. Like, do I continue to go down this rabbit hole of finding and uncovering more issues with this one car or do I just trade it in do what I should have done in the first place and pick up a new GTI because they have one in Moonstone Gray right now at the dealership they also have a Lapis Blue R which would be also awesome but not how much I want to spend right now See, I could just keep going down this rabbit hole of fixing things, finding new things, until I have pretty much rebuilt the car. But do I really want to go there? So, let's go find out, or see if we can find out, what this check engine light is. Alright, so I'm here. Uh, I'm in the Volkswagen now. I scanned it already, uh, and it's... Popping up a lot of codes, uh, a lot of them have to do with the electrical system, so that even further solidifies my suspicion that the alternator has gone kaput. I'm going to leave it here for tonight and just get up really early tomorrow, come pick it up, uh, because I don't want to risk driving it 20 minutes to where I'm staying tonight and then driving another like 30 minutes to the dealership tomorrow. I want to limit the amount of running time on uh, this engine and alternator so I'm hoping that I can at least make it to the dealership tomorrow and uh, 
yeah, we'll see what they can do. Hopefully it's just the alternator and there's no more leaks. I did not notice anything else leaking in uh, the engine bay, but here, let's take a look real quick. All right, so as you can see, there's some shine on my alternator, but there's nothing on the belt. So I think the belt is good to go. Let's see if I can see both hose clamps look like they're good on the turbo outlet pipe, which I installed yesterday. Um, so I literally think there's just a shit ton of oil inside this alternator. So hopefully replacing that will fix this issue and I can move on to bigger and better things, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Well, that kind of sucks. I know this was a short video, but I wanted to give you guys an update. I originally got this Volkswagen to take on the track. Track days start this weekend and we'll see if I'll be able to make it. I am like 99% sure that replacing the alternator will fix all of the issues that popped up here, but uh, only one way to find out. It was pulling up some older codes, so maybe I need to clear the ECM and uh, check, but I I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I'm just going to get up early tomorrow morning, hopefully bring you guys along with me drop it off before work because the service department opens at seven which is awesome and yeah just get a ride from there to work by my awesome wife so i hope you like this video if you're interested in keeping up with the progress of the gti don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you like this video hit that like button and uh leave a comment below what do you think i should do should I trade it in for a new GTI or keep running down this rabbit hole of finding an issue, fixing an issue, uncovering another issue, and it's like a catch-22 pretty much. So let me know. I'm curious uh, because I honestly am at a loss. I've never had this many issues with a Volkswagen uh, but granted, I've always, well, the last three I bought were brand new, and I'm sorry, the last two I bought were brand new, and I took care of them, so, I don't know, not sure what to do. I love the Mark 6s, but maybe it's time to upgrade. All right, I'll quit rambling. That's all I got for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.